Okay, so here's our guy. We have an all program to go left and right. Uh, we want to add a coin. To do this, we just go to our set animation. Oh, we've got, here's our animation. We've got a coin already there, right? No big deal. So, set animation and drop it in here. And we've got the coin. And give it the animation of coin. Next, we want to give the coin a size. So we go to our variable, drop that in here. The variable is the coin. Create sprite 200 by 200. All right, got it so far, right? Now we need to have this show up random spaces, random places. To do that, we put in our random number. So here we get a variable. So our X location, right? X being this way, Y being up and down. So coin X, and then we're gonna put in the random number, right? Because we want it to be in random areas. Random number, and it says the random number is between zero and four hundred. So we're going to go zero and four hundred. All right, so that's on the X. It starts right here at zero and goes to four hundred. So now we have a coin that's going to show up somewhere on this line. And we need to do the same thing for the Y. So let's go to our variables. Drop in our variable. So we've got coin X. We want coin Y. Coin Y. And again, random number. random number and again 0 to 400 here is 400 here is 0 so 0 400 all right let's run it okay that's working I'm going to reset and hopefully the coin is at a new spot there it is cool all right so we have it it's going to uh, be at a new spot every time we did it excellent All right, this one's pretty easy. Basically, when you uh, what they want is when you touch the coin, it's going to show up on the screen somewhere else. All right, so right now this is what we have. And that's an if statement, just like uh, we had the, with the keys. So we go if. And then our movement, what do we have here, is touching, right? So we're saying if the character is touching the coin, then Get some math. And we're going to do the 
is sprite x coin right because that's what's moving coin x this way we want it to be random and again it was 0 to 400 right if the character is touching the coin the coin is going to be it's going to move to a random number between 0 and 400 on the x plane now we want to do it for the y as well so variable and get our sprite and instead of x we want y coin random number is on zero to four hundred. Alright, let's see what we have. Run run it. Okay. He's flying, he's flying. Let's try to get him to hit the coin. Oh good. It moved. Go up again, hit the coin, cool. Alright, clearly it's working. Excellent.